Hey, what's going on everybody? So this is a bonus video to the OpenVPN setup series. In this video, I'm just going to show you how quickly we can get a VPN tunnel up and running using a script that I made. Now the script really just asks you a bunch of questions about the tunnel. You input the information you need and it'll spit out a big list of commands that you can copy and paste directly into the router and form a tunnel. The link to this is in the description below. It's just a Python script. I am not a programmer. I barely know enough about Python to even make this script. So it probably looks like trash if you understand programming. Don't judge too hard. But what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to set up two new VPN connections. So if you remember, we've been configuring a VPN from home router to our friend router network over here. And this is what the last four videos showed you the setup for. Today we're going to make two new connections, one to this new router network and another one to this friend router 12 network. Well, friend router 2. I put friend router 2.12.ddns.net. That's the host name we registered for that one. Which, by the way, I have added these two host names into no IP already. Both of these new routers have the dynamic DNS configurations already on them, as well as a firewall rule to permit SSH traffic into it. Because if you remember from before, we have to transfer our key files from the router that we're configuring to the destination router. So besides that, these routers are in default configuration. And there is an area in the script where we can configure the dynamic DNS stuff. I'll show you that first, just in case you haven't done it already. So let's see, what else is there? Our networks we're going to be using, we're VPNing between this 192.168.3 and 2 networks. So those network addresses are configured on Ethernet 1 of both of these routers as well. That's going to be our LAN networks that we're trying to get to. Alright, so now that that explanation's out of the way, let's just hop right in here and open up this Python script. So this is what it looks like when you open up that Python script. You've got three options. List startup configuration, configure VPN, or configure dynamic DNS. So number one, the startup configuration, that's just what I use to default a router. Don't worry about that one. It has nothing to do with the VPN configuration unless you just have a blank router without default configurations. What we're concerned with is number two and three. So let's go into number three, which is the dynamic DNS configuration. And this is really all this script does is it, is it asks you a question, you put in the information, and it'll spit out some commands. So what's our host name? So we would have new router 12.ddns.net would be our host name for this new router. Now the username of your no IP account, so whatever your username is, you would type in, press enter, and whatever your password is. And here's the commands it spits out. You would just copy and paste these directly into the router and that'll set up dynamic DNS for you. And then it asks if we want to restart. No, I don't want to restart. So it takes us back to the main menu. So let's go ahead and get into the VPN configurations. Now I am going to start these configurations on new router up here. So we're just going to assume this is the one we're working on and we're in this house. So let's just bring our script back up here, go into configure VPN. So first question is fully qualified domain name for the router that we're configuring. So the one I've already registered is new router 12.ddns.net. And it's going to ask for the domain name for the des tunnel destination which is going to be home router 12.ddns.net. It's going to ask us for a tunnel number. So this is the number that is associated with the virtual tunnel interface. So if you remember in the last video, we set up our VPN between home router and friend router with virtual tunnel zero. So this needs to be a different number since we're going to be putting it on home router, which already has virtual tunnel zero on it. So let's just go up by one, say our tunnel number is one. Now our local tunnel address, this is that made up network again from the last videos. So we have to create a new one for this tunnel. So since we used 10.0.0.0 in our last setup between home router and friend router, home router having dot one, friend router having dot two, let's just increment this up to the next available network in that series. So 10.0.0.4 would be our next available network, which would mean that home router can have dot five and this router can have dot six. So we'll say 10.0.0.6 is going to be our local tunnel address and 10.0.0.5 will be remote. Now the tunnel network, this is just the network address, so 10.0.0.4 and the tunnel mask is a slash 30. Again, if you're not too good with subnetting, kind of uh, Google that and learn a little bit about it because that I could make an entire video on just subnetting, which I probably should, but never mind that now. I'm not going to teach it right now. So port number. If you remember in the last video, we used 1194 for our connection between home router and friend router. So here, this needs to be a different port number. We'll just increment that by one, so 1195. And key file name. 
Now technically we could just use the exact same key file from last time and just transfer it from home router to this router, but I like to use separate key files for each uh, VPN. So we're gonna create a new one just called secret new. And next question is username for remote router. So this is for that SSH connection to copy this key file. So remote router is gonna be home router. So that's uh, me. That's gonna be just whatever username you have for your remote router. And next question is local network. So this is OSPF configuration. So the local network for our new router is 192.168.2.0. Press enter, ask for the network mask, which is gonna be a slash 24. And here we go, it spit out all the configurations that we need to paste into the router. So the way it does this is it splits it into two different sections. So up here you can see configuration for new router 12.ddns.net. That's the router that we're on. And we'll copy and paste all of this into that router. And then the second section is configuration for home router 12. So we'll hop on home router and paste these into there. So I'm just going to copy. I like to copy just this key section first, make sure that goes good. So highlight that. Now I'm gonna open up a notepad document and I'm gonna paste it into here. And this is just because remember there is a configuration difference between a VIOS and the actual edge routers. So this key generation command is actually wrong for me. This is generate open VPN key and then the path and the rest is the same. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Let's go on to our router here, new router 12, log in and we're gonna paste in these commands. Hit enter there, and it says connection to home router refused. Cool. So I might have removed the firewall rule on our home router, so let's just go over there, take a look at that real quick. See if we can do this on the fly. So let's log into home router, me, me, show configuration commands, and we're gonna look for our rule five on the firewall. It doesn't look like I have it. So you can see our WAN local firewall rule here. We have rule 10 to accept established related, rule 20 to accept, oh no, we do have port 22 in there, and then deny all. So this is probably an issue with the SSH listening interface for BIOS. This is not something you'd have to do on your edge router, so let me just quickly put, drop this in here. All right, so I put that SSH command on our home router. So now we can just do this uh, sudo scp, put in home router's password, and boom, we've transferred our new secret key. Now at this point, we can copy and paste the rest of that script. So go down, configure, and we're gonna copy everything down to home router 12's uh, configuration. So let's go back here on our new router, and we're just going to right click to copy everything in here. And hit enter, and do a commit and a save, and save. And at this point, we can SSH to home router. So home router 12.ddns.net, log in to here. And this is where we're going to paste the rest of the configurations. So go back to our script, grab home routers configuration section. So configure down to the end, right click to copy, open our router back up here and just paste it all in. Not really sure if I mentioned it, but if you're unsure how to copy and paste things in a terminal program such as PuTTY, it's basically just highlighting it and then right-clicking somewhere else is, is your action button. So if you highlight things in PuTTY, it automatically copies it. If you right-click in PuTTY, it's going to automatically paste it in. So in a command prompt, though, you right-click to copy, and then you go over to PuTTY and you right-click to paste. So it's a little backwards, a little weird. But let's do a commit and a save here for the home router. And we'll exit out of home router and we'll do a show uh, OpenVPN status, actually site to site status, this one is backwards. And you can see we have this new virtual tunnel here. Now if we try to ping over it, so let's try and ping our uh, destination IP we set up, which was 10.0.0. was it five? And we are able to ping. So let's try to ping home routers local network, which I think was 1.1, .1, and we're getting replies. So there we go. That is a VPN set up. You can go ahead and exit out of home router now. So that was all we had to do to set up a VPN connection between our home router and our new router. It took a lot less time, so let's go ahead and just jump into configuring a friend 2's router. So open up our uh, script again. You can see, would you like to restart? We're gonna say yes. So this is just gonna restart the VPN configuration. And we're gonna type in our domain name for the router we're configuring, which I made it friend2 
12.ddns.net. And the destination, home router 12.ddns.net. Tunnel number, so since we've already used zero and now one on home router, we're going to make this number two. And local tunnel address, let's come up with a new network. So we've already used 10.0.0.0 and 10.0.0.4. So the next one in line is 10.0.0.8. So local tunnel address, 10.0.0. This is either gonna be nine or 10. I'm gonna make it 10 because I like the lower number on home router. That's a personal preference. You can use either one on either side. So remote IP is dot nine. And the tunnel network is 10.0.0.8. Eight, enter with a slash 30 mask. Now port number, we've already used 1194 and now 1195. So we're gonna use 1196 for this one. And key file name, we'll do secret friend two. And username for home router, put that in. And our local network to be advertised. So off of this router, we are advertising the 192.168.3.0 network. Enter, slash 24 mask. And here's our configurations. So let's go ahead and scroll up to the key generation part. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna use my notepad because it is different. All right. I'll copy that. And now let's open up our friend to router, log in and paste these commands. Enter home router's password and we've copied the key file. Go back to our script, copy the rest of the configuration down to home router's configuration. Go back to our router and paste it in. Do a commit and a save. And now SSH to our home router. Oops, me at home router 12.ddns.net, home router's password. And go back to our script, copy home router's configuration and paste that in. Do a commit and a save and we can exit out of home router and now try to ping it from friends router so we'll go ahead and just try to ping 192.168.1.1 which is home router's local address and we can do a show open vpn status site to site or site to site status and you can see our vpn connection is up so that is how quick you can get a vpn up if you're using this script so let's exit out of our friend network Minimize our script and let's go to home router. So if we take a look at home router, show OpenVPN site to site status, we now have our three tunnels, virtual tunnel zero, one, and two. And if we do a show configuration commands, we can see everything that we've done so far. So you can see we've got our virtual tunnel zero interface settings, one and two. And then if we scroll down some more, we can see our OSPF settings that this thing threw in for us. So we've got our neighbor commands, our network advertisement commands, and our passive interface commands. So this basically just did everything we did in the last four videos in roughly five minutes of actual configuration time. So hopefully you liked this bonus video. Uh, if you do want to use this script, feel free to download it in the link below. Like I said, don't judge me too hard. I'm not a programmer. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I've gone over here. Just leave it in the comments below. I'll try to answer that. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video and I hope your VPN tunnels are working great.